Hi there, and thank you for clicking on my video. Um, to be honest, I'm probably going to mistitle this, because uh, there is a solid chance uh, this could potentially be a slight meta shift, because of how strong it is. <clears throat> and this deals with all uh, exalted weapons. Uh, as you see right now, I have regulator regulators pulled up. Um, and if you take a look at what my modding is, you will see I have modded for Toxin and Radiation. Um, do the recent changes in how armor works, one of the issues is that armor is going to be very easily uh, destroyable. Like, you can strip armor so easy now. Um, so one of the issues that's going on now is uh, what do you mod when there's no armor in the game? Um, and the Archon mods, this is going to be some talk about the Archon mods on Mesa. And I have found through loose trial and error, as the enemies get higher up, you lose the bonus damage that corrosive gives you because of trash mobs. But here's the rub. You gain the 80% uh, armor reduction. Not a big deal. But as you stay longer in missions, and one of the hidden scalings that was in Warframe is that uh, elite units, the ones that end up encompassing all of survivals, uh, as, as you get further and further into survivals, more and more elite units will be spawning, is they tend to have alloy armor. And because of the new Archon mods, I think genuinely we have probably hit the tipping point on where modding for Corrosive is probably out of style. With some slight tweaks, obviously. Um, so this is what I'm basically going to be swapping my regulator setup to. Um, and there's some logic behind this. I need to test it. Uh, so I'm going to mislabel this video. Uh, so for any of you that see this, try it out. Let me know. Um, but this has been something I've been messing around with because of the galvanized mods and the Archon mods. Now follow my logic on this. If armor is all flat reduction now, in terms of uh, abilities, right? If people run auras or have armor strip on their frame, armor is exponentially easier to strip. So say a corrosive aura, a corrosive projection aura will interact one-to-one -one additively with other strips in the game. Say like, uh, like Saren Spores or something. But Corrosive, with the new Archon mods, is surprisingly fucking easy to get. And that brings me to why I've modded this way. I might adjust this a little more to do more waiting to Slash. But the fact is, is Heat's main bonus is to Armor. The Armor Shred. But there's not a lot of armor shred needed anymore because it's elsewhere. Now, doing a solo build for for uh, Mesa, one of the benefits of running a heat build was um, the panic that would set in would temporarily CC them. But you know what also has a CC ability on it? Uh, and it actually makes the enemies do damage to themselves is radiation. But the difference is, is that it causes the enemies to do damage to each other, so they will stop attacking you. And more importantly, an enemy that is near a Thrax, that is radiated, will draw aggro from the Thrax. You can't, you can't affect enemies with Overguard with radiation, but if there's a, a shit unit standing next to it, that has radiation, the Thraxes will attack it. So you gain the CC that way. 
using the benefit of the fact that Mesa's Forge just does a god-awful amount of damage. It's a little bit more DPS, but this is reasonably safe. Um, so what the logic is, <clears throat> talking about... Um, okay, so we have the, the Archon mods, which is whatever. Uh, okay, so Archon Flow, Mesa can use all of these except for the Intensify one. Because Gloom doesn't count for some reason as a heal. Uh, but I've been running Gloom Banshee, or not Gloom Banshee, uh, Gloom Mesa for a while just to keep my health up. Because the, the heal from Peacemaker applies. And getting my attack speed from Velocity. And running just a faction mod. Because she scales anyway. Right? It's a little bit slower at the beginning for sure. But she's going to get there eventually. And if you radiate enemies. Because I don't care about the damage. I just want the proc. You actually end up gaining bonus damage against elite units. Where before, you would only have the corrosive, corrosive proc to help you out. You wouldn't then get the bonus 75% uh, armor ignore. Like I did for the, uh, the Gracada one, where I actually did the math explaining how far something gets reduced down. That doesn't apply to alloy at, at units, which are the harder to kill units. So you would only gain the benefit of 10 stacks of corrosive. But thanks to this mod... We get Corrosive for free now. Okay. Abilities that inflict Toxin status will also apply to a corrosive, stat a corrosive status effect. Which is all we really wanted against higher tier units. So why not mod for Radiation? It's going to be the sacrifice of uh, Heat. But in its place, I get a Toxin Dot. Which isn't the worst thing. But I'm getting the armor shred anyway, so the heat procs are going to do, a, or the toxin procs are going to do a little bit less, because you're not going to get the armor shred. But ar armor shred's easier to get, so it's a it's a balancing act. And I've actually been running this for a bit, and it's not that bad. You'll find that the enemy units, because um, it's not the trash units that kill you, right? It's like the random bombard, or like the Nox that dies. So you're going to be taking care of the units that are generally ones that kill you significantly faster. And the trash mobs, which you don't give a shit about, are going to die a little slower. And by a little bit, I mean like a tiny amount. And yes, I know Mrs. Waltz in here. I know who also watches my video and what we're... Who also... Who they also watch. Yes, I use Mesa Waltz. Don't at me. Um, but this build has actually been working out pretty well. Um, she can also trigger electricity damage. You just mod electricity onto the regulators. Uh, she can't tr self-trigger intensify uh, Archon Flow. Uh, she can trigger, you just have to mod for cold. And it needs to be the hanging element. Not the, and it does, can't exist in a combined. So if you know what I'm talking about with this, um, just mod, like say for corrosive, just mod uh, like gas electric against infested right and this will work uh for this you can do like corrosive cold um so you can you can make it work right uh and yeah she can't use that but so this got me thinking um and she can do heat somebody asked about heat uh in the comment section and i'm actually going to reply this video directly to them this 100 percent applies like you think it does i just don't use it it, it it works on a corrosive heat build, especially if you're running Vitality anyway. I was. Um, and it, this works 100 pennies on the dollar exactly like you think, and it absolutely buffs her damage. But getting a Toxin and a free Corrosive proc also does more damage than the Heat Shred. Now that I have bonus damage against Alloy Armor. So let's take a look at it. I'll make a video... Um, and I'm not going to do an Archon video. Whoop. No gloom. Alright, better.
So it takes a second to build as the procs build up. But even though these enemies have ferrite armor, the CC ain't bad. It just allows you to shoot them and then they start doing damage to each other. And as enemies scale, they will then be able to eventually one-shot themselves. But that's eventually though. So this is going to be a more effective build. Uh, for four at super high levels. It's going to take thousands of levels for this to properly scale. But it's like uh, it's like running corrosive radiation. A corrosive radiation build on Saren. You irradiate the enemies, get the spores on them, and then get them to kill each other with the weaker armor. So it's going to be that. And the entire time, you're dealing toxin damage. So you're not interfering with their DPS as crap as it is but like if you irradiate a bombard it'll clear a room um so let's pick uh dracar oh, i need to spell that right which one is it the bombard bombard okay alloy so you know how long it was taken to kill those guys I have no galvanized stacks. Give it a second. Okay, there we go. I just killed a stronger unit with alloy armor than I did those exos. Because I'm actually strong against the alloy units. And these are the guys that one-shot your shields. Not the weak guys. Those are the strong ones. So this is my pseudo hidden it, it's not a hundred percent game changing it kind of is uh because the, but there it's not going to be like the broad across the board meta shift because there's going to be circumstances where you might not want corrosive sort of um but if you were to run a toxin magnetic regulator Let's see. And then you mod... Where are we? This is a perfect setup to kill Corpus. You have your magnetic scaling, you have your toxin for shield bypass, and for the occasional Corpus unit that has armor, you get free corrosive stacks. So this would be like a perfect setup and I know for some people the, the Hornet Strike is triggering. Okay, I get it. Uh, but the fact is, is we're getting one, two, three, four, five, six with corrosive stacks to scale this. Because um, I'm not really going to tag this correctly. I have no problem doing math. Okay, so we get uh, direct damage per status type. Okay, so 80 or eight statuses. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Toxin, magnetic, corrosive is six. You're probably going to be using the Panzer, so seven. Okay, so seven times eighty is five sixty. Okay. If I went back to the old one and did corrosive heat, I would lose two statuses. So let's check that. I probably have a build with that on it. Lamel electricity. Okay, hold on. We'll check real quick. Uh, that looks fine. So Hornet, Lethal. Was a slash build. I was testing it out. I was just testing. Um, that one and. If I spell it right. I can't spell. Hold on. Alright, so we get that, we got 
toxin. And then that would be our scaling. Um, what else will we put on here? And then heat. So my build would be weaker than this, right? So you would have to take off something like Galvanized Shot to get Fire Rate on it, which is the standard meta uh, Mesa build for her regulators. So big, big alpha damage. You could even take off uh, Pistol Pestilence and put the Toxin mod there. I've seen that build run too, and it still shreds. I mean, as long as it's killing, right? I like the additional scaling because the Heat's the one that stacks infinitely, so I don't want the other ones proccing as much because once i get to 10 stacks i don't get any more additional scaling except for the bonus raw damage which i'll take uh but let's go over the procs so i got ips so three heat so what is that ips heat corrosive is five and viral so six so 6 times 80. Okay, I did the math wrong. Uh, because it's 3 times. It's 3 times. So just add 50%. So the first one was 560. Um, okay. Times 1.5. Okay, so 720. Add to memory. Okay, here we go. So the first one, let's get rid of that. Clear. Okay, so it's 80 times 7 statuses. Sorry. 80 times 3. Is that right? No. So it's 8, 40, 80, 40 times 3. Okay, so 120 times 7 is 840. That's the first one. Cool. And the next one is 6 times 120. Okay. So these are the two status procs that will scale galvanized. Now, this one... You can add Hornet Strike, which is 220, just to double check, 220 to equal 940. Hold on. I'm tired. This is going to be a really informal video. Okay, so it's IPS, Heat Corrosive, and Viral. And 120. So IPS heat corrosive viral is 6 times 120. Let me get a notepad out. And then we'll compare it to toxin radiation. Okay, so it's this for corrosive heat. And it's IPS, toxin radiation with viral, plus corrosive. So that gives us seven. So the toxin radiation build gives us 840. Okay. Now we're squared away. So corrosive heat is raw damage 720, but the difference is, is corrosive heat then would get hornet strike added to it. So it'd be 720 plus 220 is 940. Okay. equals 940. We can get rid of all that now. Okay. But the Toxin Radiation build has a faction mod on it. 
So it's going to be 840 times 1.55 is 13 over 2, or 1302 with faction. This is why you should never run Hornet Strike on this. Don't ever run Hornet Strike with Mesa's pistols because she's going to bullet hose the other IPS. If you shoot something long enough, you will get every status on here. So this goes. But you can also add faction to this also. But here's the difference. We get corrosive anyway. So why not mod for the stuff that we really need to kill? That's the magnetic one. Electricity. Oh, I took it off, didn't I? Okay, so it's this one. Um, so why not mod for the shit you need to kill anyway? Because it's going to be the bombard that's doing the damage. And what? So you eat the 75% corrosive bonus? I, I think this might have finally been the tipping point where you can start modding for corrosive toxin. Because you kill the trash mobs anyway. Especially when you run like a roar mesa or something. The damage gets insane. But this gives you better multipliers against the enemies that you need to kill. And this with like a... Uh, <clears throat> you could do like a, a gas electric build. Um, would shred also. Or you could do... What would it be? Like a radiation toxin would still be uh, effective against um, infested. Because the, the radiation would affect the ancients. So it'd still do something. But you wouldn't have the bonus damage. So you would just mod for the bonus damage, the secondary, the radiation. But keep the toxin on it as your single hanging element. So you would have the option of three combined elements. You just couldn't use toxin. So the, the fact is, is I think we might have reached the tipping point where corrosive heat or like a raw damage build on Mesa... And most stat sticks, if you are attacking a lot, so like uh, like Valkyr. I mean, when is the last time anybody heard of a Valkyr self-proccing five statuses on her talons? And I'm not going to be making a video about her either. Uh, I'll bury it somewhere or label it as something that's just weird, right? Um... Because I need to further test this, but I've done Valkyr with Radiation Toxin before. And it shreds. Because the Toxin, even though you won't be getting um, a ton of Alpha damage from the Toxin, or a ton of Dots from the Toxin, the fact is, is it's still a Primed mod. So the raw damage is there. And as soon as you trigger the Toxin, you can run 60-60s for Radiation. You'll gain the bonus damage against the extra units. And the toxin is still a dot, so it multiplies. It, it stacks unlike heat. It has individual timers on it. So the damage does get pretty nutty eventually. And Valkyr Talons have an insane amount of attack speed on them. And you can multiply them pretty easily with just like War Cry and Strike. So I think we finally hit the tipping point. I need to run the math on this, but... It, if it hasn't done it, it has gotten awfully close. Because we can get corrosive, a combined element, elsewhere now. So, that's my thoughts on it. I'm going to label this like a Mesa meme build or something. Or probably uh, like just Mesa dot 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 or something. But this is my current thinking, especially for the guy that was asking about heat. I think we've gotten to the point where heat might be almost dead. Um, because we get corrosive for free. And you can benefit elsewhere. Like, is how how badly do you really want to kill trash mobs? Right? You just need to get the fire rate fast enough and um, the corrosive is what you want. Because the corrosive is what works against the alloy armor. So why not, why not mod for radiation and get bonus of damage against that? And then benefit from another bypass. I mean, you're going to bullet hose the rest of this stuff, so you'll still get the bonus. So even the slash procs are going to benefit from the extra effect, right? 
Um, so it's my current thinking. I'm going to test it more. Uh, probably do like some long survival or something to see how this works out. Uh, but okay, so just going over. Yeah, I, I just don't think, and because it's channeled, uh, her force channeled and has a drain. Archon stretch doesn't apply because it's the same thing with all channeled abilities. Like even Vazarin's uh, energy per second it doesn't work on this. Uh, cold requires you to kill something. You can 100% use this on Mesa regulators. Um, and Archon intensifies. She can't self heal even with gloom. So it's it's whatever. Uh, heat this absolutely applies um so it's up to you uh you can sort of gimmick these um if there's another frame that gives you like say how uh like how saren can give everybody in the group toxin if you have something that can give you heat damage you can sometimes get this to apply i haven't been able to nail down exactly what the condition is uh, but there have been a couple of times where I've been able to get this apl to apply and get toxin and heat together, which would be like the perfect combo, right? Uh, but there you go. Uh, cause it doesn't work with Ember cause that counts as like modded heat, right? So these mods haven't been released yet, but if they don't fix this or adjust this, um, we finally might have reached the point where we have, like, a new meta for builds. At least as far as Warframes with Exalted Weapons. So, that's my current thinking. Um, this stuff still needs... To, a lot of these need to be adjusted a little bit. There's a lot of tweaks. Um, but it's tiny. They're almost done. They're almost done. Like, none of these apply to Korra right now. So, it's probably because they haven't officially been released. But... This is probably the most exciting part about the entire thing is finally a new mod setup and it actually is a proper radiation build. So I'm probably going to be trying this on all of the exalted weapons, like even um, like even Excalibur. Like there's no reason not to, right? Especially when you have stuff like Chromatic Blade. Um, like you could run with Excalibur. You could run... Um, What, like, Radiation... So what would that be? I forget the other one. What is it? Radiation Magnetic? Like, you could even do, as much of a meme as it would be, uh, you could do, like, Gas Magnetic. And then use the Chromatic Blade to get Toxin. And end up with, like, Toxin Corrosive Gas Magnetic. Which is just an absurd combo, right? I mean, it wouldn't do... It wouldn't do that much damage, but... As long as you don't have Corrosive... Right, like viral radiation. And then you do like corrosive toxin. That's a great combo. I'd take that. Especially on like a like a bullet hose. Why wouldn't you? So I, I think with that mod, we finally reached a point where uh the modding can change. But these haven't officially been released. But I'm looking forward to this. Because we basically use the heat for the CC anyway. And the little bit of armor shred. But if we get corrosive for free, why not mod for the stuff that's trying to actually kill us? And plus radiation draws aggro from the Thraxes. To the nearest enemy that's irradiated. So, this is my current thinking. Um, I know it was a bit... But, yeah, it's just it's what I'm thinking right now. If this hasn't finally done it, um, it's got to be super close. So anyway, this video is getting pretty long. I'm going to end it here.
Have a blessed day. Uh, if anybody tests this out and has the Archon mods also, I'd love to hear about it. I'll list, I'll leave this up publicly, but this is my current thinking now, is that this might have finally done it, and it's what Toxin is your scaling dot, right? Like, But anyway, have a blessed day, guys. Rant over.